HS2 is good for jobs and for the future prosperity of West Midlands and Northern England. The framework agreement signed by the TUC and HS2, a good agreement underpin union access and workers' rights. Frequently, construction workers chalk up 60 hours a week, constantly changing sites and employees. It's tough on them and it's tough on their family. The workers say they want us on the inside. Unless we get the industrial relations right at the start, history shows problems will blight the project throughout its lifetime. That's exactly what happened on Crossrail. Low productivity mixed with bullying and intimidation of workers coupled with blacklisting. And it sends the wrong message out for a legacy project if we do it in the wrong way. Please give rights and recognition to Unite the Union and access to their workers. I'm calling upon HS2 and all its contractors to give full access to trade unions into the workplace. And particularly, I'm asking Costings and Skanska to change their attitude in the nature of their relationship with the trade unions and facilitate those access provisions immediately. HS2 should be a positive force. HS2 is the client, they have the power, they can demand all their contractors follow the framework agreement 